Credit card cloning from skimming is spreading quickly. Security experts estimate that in the last year, direct losses from credit card skimming totaled $3 billion worldwide. But police say the criminals involved in these scams work locally and many times are part of an organized ring. Well, tonight, consumer reporter Steve Sprasia investigates what's the deal with credit card skimming in your community. Those crimes often begin here in small towns like Hillsborough. That's where the losses start. The suspects appear to be getting off the interstates. Um, a lot of the ATMs are hitting or directly off the interstates. This ATM is less than a quarter mile from Interstate 85 in Hillsborough. It is where the two suspects were photographed using a cloned credit card. Police say here's how the scam worked before the suspects got to this ATM to make the withdrawal. The suspects placed a skimmer at an ATM in Oxford where they obtained lots of credit card info. Once they removed the device, they made clones of other people's cards. They then came to Hillsborough to use that cloned card to withdraw money from the victim's account. Have you guys been able to establish a pattern of where these people are hitting and maybe? Well, actually we have not because it ranges all from the mountains to the, to the beach area. Police say these two suspects are part of what they believe is a larger ring. How big do you think the ring might be? Based off what I've seen, you know, possibly around 15 people throughout the state. Todd Moore says he's been victimized by credit card cloning. A company out of Michigan was trying to use my card for newspapers or magazines or something like that. Todd says his bank detected the scam and alerted him. If you've been victimized, the Federal Trade Commission says losses are capped at $50 if you report within two days. That cap is $500 if it's reported within 60 days. After that, the losses are unlimited. One way to check and see if there's a skimmer on the ATM is to reach over and give it a good wiggle. If it moves, that probably means there's a skimmer on it. If you need more <laughs> advice on how to protect yourself, check the links in today's web story. That's the deal. I'm Steve Sprasia, CBS North Carolina.